Hi all and welcome back, Bea here. My channel is about mixed media, art journaling, book or journal making, assemblage and more. Basically whatever sparks my interest. Today I'm working again in my Threadmore visual art journal. I'm here with Abby again. Yes, I decided I need to start Name the Girls, especially when I want to use them again or have it as a free printable for you. Yep, head over to the free member area and download your copy of the girl and the background with the quotes over there. I did start tearing up the laser printed copy of the background and gluing it down. If you have an inkjet, I would recommend to use an artist fixative before going over with wet medium. Or you could go with your inkjet copy to a copy shop and have it copied there. There is always a solution. In case you are wondering about the background, it is one of my watercolor backgrounds I have scanned and then manipulated a bit with Photoshop. I use Liquitex matte to glue down everything. Mount Podge matte would work as well. Just stay away from glossy mediums, they tend to stick together when you close the pages. Now that I have a jump off with the collage, I start adding acrylic paints. I put several colors on my palette and use an old gift or credit card to scrap them onto my page. Before I go in again with gesso, I make sure that the paint is dry. So far I have used more colors in blue-green and now I switch to the warm colors like red, yellow, purple or pink. I also added some old dictionary paper just for fun. I never mind to cover up my first layers and those who follow me since a while know I always have more layers to come so don't get too attached to what you're seeing now.
The stencils and the stamps you're going to see me using here are all handmade. But there are a ton of stencil and stamps out on the market for you to choose from. To apply the acrylic paint I use one of those cheap cosmetic sponges. And here comes Abby, again printed on my laser printer on some ordinary computer paper. If you want to see what she looks like in the video from last week, I will have the link in the iCard. Again, I'm using Liquitex Matte to glue her down. I also gonna use the credit card to smooth her out, but just be careful, you can rip the paper if you press too much. I recently have ordered some Amsterdam acrylic paint markers with a 2mm nib. They come in handy to work in small areas, but you still can spread them with a brush. Next I did paint the first layer with my own mix of face color.
For the lips, I did use first magenta. When it is dry, I'm gonna use on top some Pyro Lorette. Both are Amsterdam markers. For the color of the eyes, I use the Tombow marker in blue. I will refine the eyes later. Means I also add in the corner of each some green. Eyes are rarely just one color. It is still a whimsical girl and not a real life painting, but it just brings more life to the painting. I did turn Abby into a blondie instead of a girl with red hairs. Again, I used the Amsterdam markers for the start. First with the yellow ochre and then with the neutral grey. To fill in the hair I used some light ochre acrylic paint. For shading her face, I did use the purple. I did dry brush it and made sure I don't have too much paint on the brush. As usual, I redefined the lines again with the micron pen. I also gave her a little color for her shirt, just for some variation and fun. And what about wings? I love them, I hope you too!
or highlighting with the white Amsterdam marker. Yep, I need to decide what kind of colors I'm gonna make the wings. Oh well, let's start with the shirt instead. But now back to the wings. I did paint them in the iridescent green blue acrylic paint by PBO. And another round of redefining everything.
Almost there with the girl. As a last detail, I add some colored pencil in gray as a shadow beneath the lids. To make Abby stand out a bit more, I used the white acrylic marker and also some gesso. I just toned down the busy background around her. To make the patterns on her shirt, I use my stamps and stays on ink.
and again I'm using Liquitex Matte to glue down the quote. To make the collage more cohesive with the painting, it is always good to paint over the edges or like later do some stenciling over it. It just lets the edges disappear more. I hope you enjoyed the video and in case you are new here, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon for notification. And if you are nearby, it is actually also a live class in my studio. So head over to my blog if you would like to join. No worries, the class is going to be in German and English. So bye for now, see you next time.